Warren from Remax with the weekly update for the Portland Metro real estate market, always including Vancouver, Washington too. This date is for the week ending 623-24. Sales prices in residential real estate in the Portland Metro have been a little sluggish since the start of June, but they shot up like a rocket this past week. How did that affect the overall average sales price so far this month? Let's take a look at the stats. The average sales price in Portland Metro rose by another 4% compared to the previous week, but compared to roughly the same time period last year, the average sales price is up by a whopping 8.3%. That is probably the highest year-over-year jump we've seen so far in 2024. Keep in mind, though, that we are dealing with a relatively small sample of numbers, so we can see a bit of volatility from week to week. Looking at the broader picture, we compared the first three weeks of June of this year to the first three weeks of June of 2023, and the average sales price landed about 3.1% higher than last year. That is in keeping with my feeling that we're going to end up about 4% at the end of this year. That feels a little more representative of what we are seeing in our market right now. Demand was down again this last week. The number of new purchase agreements signed by both buyers and sellers came in at 5% below the previous week. However, that number was on par with what we saw last year at this time. The supply of homes is still rising. Again, that's normal for summer. The number of homes that were new to the market is in line with what we saw last year at this time. So I don't see any big cause for alarm, at least not yet. Mortgage rates are always kind of the biggest story these days, the big market driver. Well, they ticked up a bit from last week. The best rate I could find on Thursday morning was 6.5%, which is the best possible case for the 30-year fixed. Most lenders are probably pushing 7% right now. And again, it depends on FICOs and the type of loan, etc. The slight increase in the rate was due to a couple of Fed board governors making comments about the Fed's willingness to keep rates higher for longer. As a result, there's been some speculation that we won't see a rate cut this year until next year. And that sent rates up just a hair. We are waiting for a key piece of inflation data, which happens to be one of the Fed's favorite indicators, and that is due out later on Friday. The number of foreclosure and pre-foreclosure properties on the market is still pretty modest, but I did see a slight uptick in the number of notices of default in the metro area. The notice of default, of course, is typically that first step in the foreclosure process. Normally in a week, we'll see somewhere around 8 to 12 per week, but this last week we did see 20 issued. That could be a bit of an anomaly, or maybe it's a bit of a shift. We'll keep an eye on that number over the next uh, couple of weeks and let you know right away as soon as we know what's going on. It could be that the adjustable rate mortgages are finally starting to cause trouble. Looking forward, next week we have the 4th of July, and that's typically a very quiet week in Portland real estate. Typically the weather turns dependably nice in July, school's out, and people go on vacation, including realtors. And of course, when that happens, homes don't get shown and offers don't get written. I'll be here all next week, all the same, and I'll have the very latest in stats and trends for you next week. So let me say thank you for joining me. Have a great 4th of July, and I will see you right here next week. As always, if you have any questions about real estate or any other questions about how to maintain your home, etc., I'll be happy to answer them. Send me an email to lauren at pdxhomesforsale.com or give me a call at 503-683-1885. Look forward to being of service. Happy 4th!